they started out with 10 then it narrows down to 5 I'm about to tell you who has a real fighting chance of taking the World Athletes title of the year for 2022 you know what let's jet into this story Welcome to JET. So first and foremost, before we get into this topic in a Yemen, so you can have a full understanding of what this story is about. Give thanks and praise to the creator of the universe, Father Yahuwah, and to his son, Yahushua Hamashiach. Yes, man, we must give thanks and praise for life. Who will win? Where is your vote going? Make your pick. Who has the 100 meter speed? and that won it five times who has the big jump and can pull it off all the time who has the 400 meter hurdle on their feet and ready and able to take the world record twice who can walk as fast as how i can run and who is the new kid on the block the fastest 100 meter hurdles that set the world record I interrupt this video to make a few clarifications man address a few issues man so don't go away you know we're coming right back at you so recently I have done this video about Ilian Thompson Hera 23,000 of you viewed the video so far and 174 comments so thank you very much for everyone who participated in the debate I have received some negative comments and those are the comments to which I want to address. Note the title of the video, Authorities Dishonored Ilian Thompson Hera. And I have been accused of creating animosity among the athletes, man. People go as far as saying that I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm putting out nonsense and Ilian Thompson Hera already received OD and I should do my research. Well, clearly that person hasn't listened to the video properly and done his research because I never said Ilian Thompson Hera didn't get any OD. I said OJ, but there you go. But thanks to those who see things a little bit differently in a man, you know, it's nice to get a different perspective. Those of you who come to my rescue and say well no that's not what i was talking about that's not the topic yes man and i appreciate that but i appreciate everyone who come on this platform and offer their views i welcome everyone views i will not turn away anyone views and i respect your views what i will not tolerate is abuse either to jet or to any other people who may comment none whatsoever i will not tolerate that you get a first warning the second warning your comments is removed you know i don't mind people come and say things but sometimes people would come and talk about things or reject what the argument is without offering no debatable solution or offering no challenge to the narrative instead they just reject and say your argument is rubbish without providing any credible challenge to the argument and to justify why they say the argument is rubbish yes man but guess what this is a democracy i have th thick skin so don't worry about me i can take all of these disagreement man that's what i don't expect everybody to agree with me otherwise somebody will play an hypocrite yes man this is life but what i will not tolerate is abuse so my argument between the two is simple shelly and fraser price ran world championship five times Ilian thompson hera ran olympic twice double double shelly and fraser price has done far more in terms of achievement than Ilian thompson hera but at the same time Ilian Th of jamaica oj right so now let's get back to the story who are the real challengers yes man toby amison you know the nigerian the one who run the 100 meter hurdle and set the world record at the world championships in 12.12 .12 seconds smashing she is a real contender is a massive world record and what about shelly and fraser price you remember her yes man fifth world title over the 100 meter sprint and yes man the leading time of 10.6 last season and seven sub 10.7 races in other words she holds the record of running seven sub 10.7 she ran the most consistent races of all the athletes so far five 
world titles. Five over 100 meters. Kimberly Garcia. Yes, man. World 20 kilometer race walk. None other like her. And she also take the world title in the 35 kilometer race walk as well. Yes, man. Really, really good race contender. She comes towards the line for her second goal. She will be champion once again. But one of the favorites, you know, is Sydney McLaughlin, world 400 meter hurdles and 4x4 champion, broke the world 400 meter hurdle record with 51.41 at the US Championships and improve it, break it again. Yes, man. Last but not least, Yulima Rojas, world indoor and outdoor triple jump champion, Diamond League champion as well. And improve our world record, you know, to 15.74 meter in Belgrade. Yes, man, another serious contender. Yulimar Rojas, the world champion, the Olympic champion. They are all great. Yes, man. Toby Amison, yes, youngster coming up, but she still has a lot to do, I believe, in order to reach to that level where she could get the title, although she set the world record. My favorite pick out of all five is Shelly and Fraser Price and Sydney McClucking because S Sydney McClucking appears to be the one that show a lot of consistency, and that is what I'm basing it on consistency. And Shelly and Fraser Price the same with a sub 10.7 seconds over the 100 meter last season. And she has won it five times. True, rich record of a champion. Yes, man, those are the two that I'm picking. The race is still open. There are three world records among the five. But my money would be on those two. Tell us what you think, man. Drop your comments, man, and let's have a debate about this, man. For those of you who've forgotten to subscribe, you know, please remember to touch the like button, smash the subscribe button, touch up the bell, and remember to share with friends and family. See you all, Guan. We're going to jet off, you know.